Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another big, big VV and Ecomi video, man. And this one, we're going to be talking about something Trevor just said. Now, I know a lot of you all were wondering who Trevor was last time I mentioned him because some people just didn't know. So if you don't know, he is a former person that used to be a developer or programmer for League of Legends. Now, um, he's, he's he's been in the gaming space for a while. He's really an expert when it comes to gaming. He's a gamer, he's a fan himself, and he's a developer. Developer. So he's used to this gaming community. He's used to these lighthearted communities where it's just all about fun. And he also, ever since joining the team, just like David, he goes around trolling the community quite often. Um, and he has said something very interesting that I want to put something on you all's mind. But before we jump into that, um, be sure to drop that thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on notifications so you can stay updated with everything that's going on in the VVverse. Um, but yeah, check the links down below as well. Be sure to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and also there's some other helpful links down there if you want to join different exchanges, um, get into stocks, things like that, or just know a video about how to buy eco how to buy Omi. That that's how how I did it. So um yeah, that that's pretty much. That's pretty much it. We can actually jump into this huge topic now. So he was asked, Trevor, can you break down for us what exactly the VVverse is, what it will look like in terms of games, etc. This reply was, let me artfully dodge your question with another question. What do you, capital U, want the VVverse to be? This instantly changed my mindset about the potential of what the VVverse could be. And I'll tell you why. Think about how it's set up right now. We all have these vaults. We have these vaults. We have our space where we can set it up, decorate it how we want it. We have our space that's going to be somewhere in the VVverse. And we're going to have vehicles where we can drive around the VVverse. And if you don't know, yes, this is confirmed. This is stuff that came directly from the developers. If you don't know that this is where where um it's going, yes, this is this is where they're planning for it to go. Which is why I want this to stay at a low price as long as possible. Because with features like that, with just that, with only that, take the licenses out and all that, that it's in itself is going to be huge. Not many not many games are doing it. Not many companies are working on it. That in itself is going to be huge. Then you bring in a licenses and stuff like that. This is why people are going so hard when it comes to VV. But um, the point is, we already have our personal spaces. We already have this stuff. But we've been working under the assumption that, okay, over here is going to be the Street Fighter section. That's where that's that's where they're going to set up the Street Fighter section. Maybe they're going to have like Batman versus Capcom or something like that, or, or DC versus Capcom. Or and then over there, it may be a racetrack, so you can race all the cars, and that, that's going to be the race area. Then over there, we're going to have something else. Now, one thing that I don't think that we have thought about is, and this is this instantly triggered in my head when he said, what do you want the VVverse to be? One thing that they do is they always like to leave little hints, little nuggets, and they always like to make deeper make deeper statements than you would understand surface level but then it comes out a few months down the line like wow he was hinting to this in 2018 that's why people watch my videos sometimes they say oh this was a month ago this was from a year ago and they don't understand that a year ago he was saying something that just came out today but people don't pay attention to those details they get into something they invest in it they don't realize that Oh, this was a plan that he said a year ago. He he hinted at a year ago or two years ago, and it's in here today. Like, once you see that, realize how calculated these guys have been, you have to believe in them. Like, once you see that everything they have calculated is coming to pass, everything that they said they were going to make happen or hinted that they could make happen, they are making it happen. And listen man um once you realize that your faith in this project it just goes to another level so the point is what i think is going to happen what i think could happen this is not confirmed this is my theory i think that we could be we should be thinking about this maybe more so minecraft minecraft roblox so maybe not so much defined areas but you can build your world 
within VV. So your so things get built by the community. The community comes together and makes the VV verse what it is. And this leads back to the question: What do you want the VV verse to be? Because with all these licenses, with all these brands, with all these NFTs, it does make sense that they're going to have certain game modes and certain ways to get to these game modes. But exactly what the VV verse as a whole actually is, do do they like the like this is going to be massive? This is going to be big. Do they actually have the time, the team to to be building an entire VV verse? And one thing that we have noticed is think about this. Think about this. When you're building your vault. You get to decide where everything goes. You get to decorate. You get to move these elements. You have full and total control over your vault. Now imagine that in a bigger scale with the VV verse. What if people have control over how it's built? What if they simply give us tools and we build the world within constraints of obviously parameters that they've set? That would be huge because now we have so many different spaces, so so much stuff we can do with these certain spaces. Like this could literally be absolutely huge, and it could be massive. And think about this: what if the VV base, what if the VV version isn't all free? So the VV verse, you come in the, the VV verse for it as itself is it's just you. Everybody can enter that. Everybody can enter that, experience it, and stuff like that. But let's say you want to meet. You want to create a community meeting room where you have your own little community. Y'all have a meeting room. Let's say you can build things. You want to create your own little meeting room. You have to pay like a thousand gems or something like that. So technically, you're paying a thousand dollars so you can have your own area in the VV verse. Now that money gets burned. That money gets burned. That boosts the price. Like that boosts the price, obviously, of the token more. Because it, since it has burned, and then now you can go and decorate. You buy even more things to decorate this new place that you just bought. You can eat like you can have people building houses. You do you realize how massive this is? You the VV verse could be the world if this is not just if this is more than just me thinking crazy. Because and this I don't even want to keep my head in this space to be honest with y'all. I don't want to keep my head in this space because I am thinking very big right now, and I don't. I don't want to be let down that much. So I'm still going to keep, keep I'm, this is going to be in the back of my head after this video, but I do want to talk about the implications of something like this happening because we never considered this. We, we, ne we considered simple things like, oh, maybe you can customize your car, change the paint color, add some different rims. Have we thought about the fact that what if they built the world inside of VV? What if they built the world in the VV versus the world where you can literally you literally have to pay for your business. You have to pay to to decorate your business. And then what if you charge fees for people to enter certain businesses? So so for instance, if you create a community center, you charge a fee for people to come into there and then a percentage of that fee goes to the person who um obviously owns the place maybe or a percentage of that fee gets burned or and goes to VV, like however they do the split ups, the mathematics, whatever. What if this works like the real world? That's what I'm starting to think about. Because it can be Minecraft where you can build your own place and stuff like that. But what makes more sense in an ecosystem like this is you can actually charge for this stuff. A lot of this stuff is valuable. You can charge for your own little space, your own little area that can be decorated, that can be improved. Like obviously your vault and stuff where your NFTs are stored that that is going to be free that comes free but if you want to do extra like go off and build to us technically could be considered a business in the vv verse if you want to build like a um little hub for people to get together over here you pay for that you pay for all the stuff that's inside of it you like literally you 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 spend a bunch of money to build stuff and what if multiple different people start building their own worlds within the vv verse and this comes to pass the vv verse is what we want it to be so the fact that he did that capital U, what do you want the VV verse to be? This could just be something as simple as, okay, that they're trying to make it to as closely to what people want as possible. Or this could literally mean, what do you want it to be in the sense where we are going to be the ones capable of building this world? 
we're going to be the ones capable of buying new space within the VV verse and, and making it, turning it into what we want to turn it into. That would be huge. That would be absolutely huge because think about what that would do. They have NFT packs. They have NFT drops. They'll then have, um, you, you could think of like gaming, a, a, augmented reality gaming, virtual reality gaming. Um, then you have this whole building the world. Then you have customizing things like cars and stuff like that. Like literally, if, if, if even a, like a lot of these features by themselves could just boost and skyrocket, skyrocket Ecomi and, and skyrocket Vivi, but if all of these are not far-fetched and this is stuff that they're working on, this is stuff that they're thinking about, this is stuff that they're doing and implementing, like the 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 where this could reach, people talking about how how ten dollars is not realistic and stuff like that. If you can literally if this becomes the Minecraft, a financial world Minecraft that has collectible like collectibles, it's a cryptocurrency, it's um it's like it has these movie stars, it has NBA players, it has the, the biggest, some of the biggest artists in the world on the platform creating. Like, if it literally becomes a place like that, it this could be realistically, it could go towards a hundred dollars. A hundred dollar price point. And that's it's hard to think about right now. It's hard to imagine. But if you would have told people ten years ago what Bitcoin was gonna be, while people some people saw the vision, if you would have told people ten years ago what Bitcoin was gonna become that would have been unimaginable. So to imagine this right now, I know how crazy it sounds, but what are what is what is all the experts saying right now about NFTs? NFTs is going to be the new world. NFTs is going to change everything. So what if this is the start of them actually taking NFTs, focusing a lot of effort on the the licensing and the the high quality NFTs, but not just to have them but what if this is a build up to a whole world full of NFTs similar to Ready Player One, similar to Ready Player One, but even more, even more like Minecraft, -y, like a Minecraft mixed with Ready Player One type of thing. I think that would be huge. And it's just a thought I wanted to put in your head. I want to hear some opinions on it. Let me know if y'all think, nah, nah, no way that ever happened. Me? I think that, listen, I don't know. You never know. I don't know if they would actually create a whole world that you can build yourself, have an ecosystem where, okay, we charge this person to create and open their own thing. Like, listen, games do it all the time. Have you played an MMORPG? If you want to build a clan, if you want to build a little clan and stuff like that, you have to pay. You have to pay to build your own clan in these games. Then you can invite people. And if you want more members to be able to fit in there, you have to pay even more. All of this paying and paying, like, it is going to cost real money, and all of this paying is good, though, because all of that would be burning, all of that would be burning the token. And if they have this where it's literally like just a burning machine where every single action, well, the majority of the actions that you do inside of this platform literally burns the token, a lot of people could be sitting pretty, man. A lot of people stand to make a lot of money. And that also leads me back to thinking... Could this have been something that's already been in the plans? Because if you think about Al Khan, how the heck was he influenced to get into this project? Like, okay, NFTs, NFTs is going to be a big thing. Yeah, I know him and David were friends. They knew each other. But what was the selling point that got him? And how the heck did, like, I know he's a legendary guy. But come on now. He's not just like, how do you secure so many top quality licenses? Even being cool with everybody, you can be cool with everybody in the world. That does not mean you can convince all of them to jump on. Was it just the NFT side of them, side of this that convinced him? Or did he walk into some of these meetings mentioning a Minecraft world with digital assets, your assets, that's making you money every time something happens on the platform? Because I think that's an argument coming from Al Khan. If he was to walk into any business with that argument... I don't think that there's a brand he could not secure. One, because of his reputation, and two, because building a world like that that's really in a money-making machine, like, yeah, this, this would be insane. So let me know what you all think in the comment section about this. I definitely want to hear your thoughts. I know this could be way too extreme to be realistic. I mean, this is something that I hope is like, this, this is what I hope for. 
I'm not expecting, I'm really not expecting this. I'm not expecting this level of, this level of detail, this level of thoughtfulness, this level of, but if it is, think about what that would do. That's all, that's all I want to do. So I want to put that in y'all head. So I'm not the only one over here stressing and really just thinking in a fantasy land right now. I can't be the only one doing it. I'm sorry I had to put it in your head, man. But let me know what y'all think in the comments section. Be sure to drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace out.